What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use Webflow to build an online store for your product. So if you have a business and you have products to sell, I'll show you how to build a store for them on webflow.com. Webflow is a platform on which you can create websites easily and it has lots of features and you can use it without coding so you don't have to have any knowledge of coding. That's why it is beginner friendly. So first you'll need to open the Webflow website. So open the browser on your computer and the website is webflow.com. Once you open it, it'll give you like an overview of the website and the services. You can go ahead and log in with your account if you created an account on Webflow. Or if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and click on get started to create a free account. You can enter your email and sign up with your email. And you can also sign up with Google. I've already created an account on Webflow with my email and password. So that's what it'll look like once you sign up with your email and password or with Google and answer a few simple questions, you will be redirected to your dashboard, your main dashboard on the Webflow website. So that is your main dashboard on your profile. As you can see here, it has like many options. That's the dashboard that you are currently on has the marketplace option where you can overview use libraries, app, hire an expert templates and so on for the e-commerce uh, businesses. You can learn. There is a learn option here. Where you can view tutorials to help you with your tasks on this website. You can view resources here like community, ebooks, forum. If you need to ask a question or learn the different techniques on this website and here you have your account. So if you click on it, you can go to your public profile, your account settings, workspaces update and you can sign out of your profile. And here you have the sites that you already created. You can edit them and go to their settings. You can share them. You can delete them or move to folders and so on. So let's create a new website for your online store. We can go to new site here and click on it. It'll open the templates page that you can use for your website. You can start from scratch with a blank site. You can add all the elements that you like, or you can go ahead and view these starters websites. They are not templates like with styles and colors and fonts and so on, but they have placeholders for the texts and images. We have one for portfolio business and so on. So the portfolio starter, business starter and store starter, you can select them if you like. However, I prefer to use a ready made template like these ones right here with text styles, fonts and design colors and images and so on. And we can edit or replace these elements in the editor. And you scroll down a bit. You'll see here you have free templates. So these templates are free to use and edit. And you can click on view all to open a page with all the free templates. And since we want to create a website for our online business, we need to choose a template for retail. So let's see here. Let's say we like this one, like the template for a coffee shop here. You can choose the template, click on it. It'll give you like a brief description of the template. You can click on preview in browser to view the template in real time and interact with the different elements. So you can scroll down here. As you can see, this template has like products in them with prices and you can click on them to view them or buy them. So it's suitable for our online business. Okay, once you are happy and you decide to use this template, you can close the tab here and then click on use for free. It'll take a few moments to open the template in the editor. First, you will need to rename your website or have a name for your website. Let's say our coffee shop here and then click on create site. It will load up the template in the editor. And now the template is loaded in the editor. First, you can change the view so you have many views like the desktop view, the tablet view, the mobile landscape view and the mobile portrait view. And in the mobile view, you can change the size so that it matches all screen sizes. Different mobiles have different screen sizes and resolutions. So you can see 
how your site will look on different screen sizes. Okay, now let's get back to the desktop view, the main desktop view. You can edit all the elements, like if you click on the label here, the coffee mugs, the header for the site, you can double click on it to edit the text. So let's highlight the text here. And you can make it bold, italic, superscript and subscript, add link and so on. And you can even edit the text. So let's type choose your coffee. And we can edit the text style and font and color from the tab on the right here. We can scroll down a bit in the settings here to see the typography. And we can choose here a text color. Let's make it bright red. Okay. And we can edit the font and the size and so on. Let's choose this one. Okay, looking good. And we can edit like the margins for this element, for this header. So let's increase the top margin. Okay. And the bottom one as well. And we also can edit the positioning, how this how it displays and so on. And we can go to settings to choose the settings for the header and the elements and so on. You can do this with every element. So the header, every element, text or image. And if we click on an image here, like this background image, we can go ahead and edit also the margins and the settings and the alignment and the size and so on. And from the tab on the left here, we can add elements. So we can add a section, a container, a block, a heading, and even a link or a video or an image and so on. And it'll give you a visual representation of each individual element that you can add. And here we can view the components. So we can create a new footer or header or menu and so on and view the existing ones. We can view the navigator to view the uh, different elements or the pages of our website. And here we can view the pages, the different pages. So we have a home and about contact blog and licensing. We are currently editing the home page. Let's go and edit the about page of our website. You can also as in the home page, edit any element. And we can go here to the CMS, view the logic, add members or users to edit or, or help us edit the website. And for the e commerce tab here, that's very important for online stores. So let's click on it. Here you can view all your products that you have listed on your website. So here you can view each product with image like label or name, the price and the date modified or published and so on. So you can edit all these details. If we click on the product here, you can edit the info. So like rename it, let's rename it to coffee mug, for example. Okay. And like uh, edit the slug or the uh, okay. Now we can edit the image add an image or replace an image. We can edit the price. So let's edit it to like $5. And you can view text settings and other settings like shipping and so on. And you can also add the parameters like the weight, the width and the size of the uh, product itself. Now, once you have edited all the info, click on save. And as you can see, the name changed and the price will change in the page. So you can also in the page here in this page, the products page, or as you can see here, the price changed, you can add a new product. So you'll need to enter all the info, the name and the size and the uh, you need to enter an image and price and every other detail. And then click on create here. If you go to the categories, we can view the different categories of our products like tea mugs, coffee mugs, premium and others. And we can view discounts here or add a new discount on products that we already have. You can view your orders. So your recent orders and your past orders. And you can view subscriptions to see who is subscribed to your website or your products. And also we can 
edit our assets in the website so we can view all the images all the graphics and edit or replace them we can add or view apps settings help and so on and that's how easy it is to create and edit a website for your online business or your store for your products on webflow.com